So hello and welcome to this Jasper.ai tutorial video where what I'm going to be specifically showing you is how to use the Jasper.ai templates. It's very easy to do and a lot of people don't realize that you can kind of mix and match these to create some really cool content. In case you're not familiar with Jasper, they do come with a free trial. They don't advertise it on their main homepage for some odd reason, but if you check out the link down below in the description, that will get you to the free trial and a nice little bonus that you can see for yourself. So let's get started. I am in the templates section if you are following along with me under all. So it really depends on what you're going to need in the beginning. There are a lot of great templates depending on what you're looking for. I believe it's around 55 of them or so, but pretty much all of them work in a similar way. What I'm going to be doing is actually using templates to create a uh, just kind of written blog post. It's not going to be super long because I want to more so show you how Jasper works, but let's get started. Anytime we're going to create a blog post, we're going to want to create a blog blog post outline. This is probably the one thing that you're going to need to do. And it's the only one thing you're going to need to do aside from editing and tweaking and fact checking if you need to. So so this blog post title is going to be digital marketing trends that you should pay attention to. I just used the example that they had and tone of voice is going to be witty. I'm bringing this up because this is pretty much the only thing that you need to know when it comes to templates. Everything on the left side is what you're going to enter in. You get to choose how many outputs you want, which is another way of saying results. So if you want to do one at a time, that's fine. I recommend keeping it a little bit lower because usually you're going to find one right away as opposed to using up more words or, you know, more at a time. Also for this, this example, I'm just going to be doing one or maybe two. So I don't have to read through all of them and really extend the time. I want to make sure you know how to get things done. Now that we've set this up, let's click on generate AI content and see what we get. Okay, so here we are. Voice search is becoming more popular. We have video content. Social media platforms are changing. Mobile optimization is essential. Email marketing is still a powerful tool. These are really good. So once we have something, we can start if we really like it by adding it to our favorites. We can very easily copy it to a clipboard. We can give it the thumbs up thumbs down or just delete it if we don't want, or we can click on the refresh, which will clear all the output shown up on the right. I like this. So for an example, I'm going to copy this. And what I want to do is paste it over here. Give me a sec. I'm going to make this look a little nicer. Okay, so there we have it. These are going to be like the main headlines when it comes to creating a blog post. Now, keep in mind, we've only created a title so far. What I want to do is copy this first headline going to minimize this and let's go over to the next section, which is going to be the paragraph generator. If we are right here, this is where it's going to be shown. This is a newer feature and one is probably my newest and most favorite. It's very flexible. You can use pretty much paragraphs anywhere online, especially when it comes to marketing. So that's why I really like it. But once again, the same thing we have, what is our paragraph about? What we're going to do is just paste in one of our headlines that we already have under keywords to include, we could just put voice search, obviously something that's similar to what's talked about right there. Tone of voice is going to be witty and allow me to show you how you can change this. If you go to click here to see more, it's just going to give you some that you can also use. And of course, you can always put these in. We got funny, casual, excited, professional, witty, sarcastic, feminine, masculine, bold, dramatic, grumpy, secretive. Don't forget about Optimus Prime, Gary V, Tony Robbins, Oprah, and Tony Stark. If you want to use any of those, you can simply put them in. I love using witty. It just matches my marketing voice. But now that that's all set up, once again, we know what to do. Click on generate AI content and see what we get. All right. So we got a lot. That's like a paragraph and a half. That's like two paragraphs because they use the uh, the little bullet points there. So as anyone who has ever tried to use voice search knows, it can be a bit of a hit or miss proposition. Sometimes it works like a charm and other times it just doesn't seem to understand what you're saying. However, there's no doubt that voice search is becoming more and more popular. It's important to make sure your website is optimized for voice searches. Here are a few tips. Oh, that's cool. So it gives you the tips and it caps it off. By following these tips, you can help ensure that your website is voice search friendly and that's something everyone can benefit from. That's great. Let's copy this. And now what we have, this is going to be, let's say, our headline. Like I can change that after. And what I'm going to do is paste this in. So right there, we have our content. And next, what I want to do is copy the next one. I think you get the idea of where I'm going here. Let's paste this in. This is about video content. Once again, let me run this and then we'll see what we get. In today's digital age, video content is more popular than ever. More and more people are watching videos online and businesses are taking notice. If you're not already creating video content to showcase your products or services, now is the time to start. 
Video is an incredibly powerful medium that can help you reach a wider audience and promote your brand in a creative and engaging way. Not sure where to start? Talk to your team about what kind of video would best suit your business goals, whether it's a product demonstration, customer testimonial, or something else entirely, and get started on creating video content that will gauge and convert viewers into customers. Something I want to point out is the quality of that is phenomenal. Like you couldn't tell that AI created that. It sounds like a human did it. It flows nicely. There's punctuation. That is a great example of the paragraph generator or just the content in general. Let's copy this since we know how to do that. What I want to do is paste it under here. Space, space. Okay, let's move to the next one. I'm not going to do all of them. I'll do one more. Let's copy. I'm going to bold that as well. Let's go back here one more time. So now we're talking about social media, social media platforms. Okay, they're constantly changing. Make sure your latest features reach your target audience. Perfect. So once again, since we've had that, let's click on generate AI content. All right, so social media platforms are in a constant state of flux. What was popular last week might be passe this week. I'm not familiar with that word, okay? And what works for one audience might not work for another. That's why it's important to stay on top of the latest trends and features if you wanna reach your target audience. So I'm not familiar with that phrase. If I maybe don't know that, maybe someone else might not. Overall, the rest of it, just kind of looking at it, keep your finger on the pulse. It matches what we were talking about, but let's just say we can do better. What we can do is just clear that and run it again. All right, so here we are. This one is slightly similar, but also different at the same time. Social media platforms are in a constant state of flux. New features are constantly being added while others are being phased out. This can make it difficult to keep up with the latest changes. And as a result, many businesses find themselves using outdated features that are no longer effective. This is why it's so important to stay on the latest social media trends. By using the latest features, you'll be able to reach your target audience more effectively. Don't get left behind. Make sure you're using the latest social media features to stay ahead of the competition. Okay, that was much better. All right, so what I want to do, let's copy this and let's go down here and paste that in. And I'm just going to get rid of these. And of course, it wouldn't be an article without an introduction or an outro or a conclusion, however you want to call it. So like we talked about before, remember, all we used in this was going to be this one title. And what I did is I copied it in here. We're talking about marketers. Now let's create the intro paragraph. We don't need probably four. Let's do two at a time and see what we get. As a marketer, you're probably always on the lookout for new trends that help you stay ahead of the competition, but with so much change happening in the digital world, it can be hard to know which trends to focus on. Don't worry, we've got you covered. Here are three digital marketing trends that you should pay attention to in Not This Year. I like this one, but like I said, remember sometimes we got to tweak things or fact check them. Let's just change the year. And I think that's good because we have three of them, right? One, two, three. So that actually works out perfectly. Uh, paste. It's going to be bold because it was next to the bold. 22. And of course, we have our title, right? There we go. This would be our title. We can put this up on top. And then, of course, we have our conclusion. Same thing here. It's going to be the exact same thing, except they have the blog post conclusion paragraph. So we're going to have the title here. Call to action if you want to leave it in there or just you know put something else. Leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. That'll do. Let's click on generate AI content and see what we get. If you're not keeping an eye on these digital marketing trends, you could be left in the dust, but don't worry, we're here to help. Leave a comment down below and let us know which trend is your favorite. Not bad, simple, concludes it, does exactly what it, it should. Let's take out the conclusion aspect here. We don't need to let them know. And just like that, we have a pretty simple article that was very easy to create. And the cool thing about this, like I said, this is the only thing I actually wrote, okay? That and maybe the 2022 because I had to change the year. But that's uh, the power of AI, especially when it comes to Jasper. As you saw, the quality is very high. And if any time you want to just run something new, you can obviously delete it. You can get rid of them all. You can generate more content. And of course, you can add more outputs at a time in case you want to create more content all at once. But that's going to be completely up to you. But thank you so much for watching this Jasper tutorial. I hope it helps you out. Whether you're already using Jasper or if you haven't, feel free to check it out down below. Like I said, it's a free trial link. It's unique. Plus you get a nice bonus. So you can actually go through and create a lot of content during that free trial. Thanks again for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll see you in my next video.